What do you say we get into it though? I think everything is up and running. I also changed my stream settings, so hopefully the stream looks pretty decent. I Before I was using like quality-based encoding, which is fine for recording, but seems to have some issues whenever you were streaming. Uh, basically, no matter what settings I, I used, it was always doing a really low bitrate. So I just set a, a constant bitrate for streaming. Um, so hopefully we'll get a little bit more detail in the stream now, especially since I'm trying to do 60 FPS instead of uh, 30 like I was before. But all right, I think I'm ready to go with everything on my side here. So today we are playing Attack of the Power of Juju as part of the PlayStation 2 Gauntlet, which of course, for anybody who doesn't know, is my goal, quest, whatever you want to call it, to collect and stream every North American PlayStation 2 game, at least the ones that I can stream. I plan on collecting the rest, of course, but yeah, some things just don't need to be on the internet. Uh, new adventure, though. Let's get right into Tack and the Power of Juju, a game that I've been wanting to play even before I started this quest. I bought like four or five different Tack games. And just never got around to playing them. I can never remember that part. Maybe uh, uh, no bow ta ti ki bow li. No, no. Uh, uh, but it's no bow ta something. Uh, is this chanting ever going to work? What is it going to take to get into contact with a powerful juju spirit from another world? <laughs> it worked. Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Yep. You do not speak, but I see that you listen. You look so strange. Your clothes. Mm, speak for yourself. The power stick you hold in your hand. I have never seen a juju like you before. This magic box you watch me on. It is clearly the most important thing in your hut. You do me great honor to watch me on it. My name is Jabalba. I am the powerful shaman of the great and legendary Poopanuno people. For Poopanunu. generations we have... Hey! Hey, quiet out there! I'm talking to a juju! Tech, would you shut those people up? This is important! And get Warrior Lock! I want to introduce him to this juju here! I am so sorry. Oh, it's okay. I forgive you. Juju. Just this time, There's though. A lot going on today. Don't let it happen again. Upon you for your help. <laughs> let me explain. Throughout the history of the Poopanunu people, shaman like myself have known that someday something terrible would happen to our great protector the moon juju so said the poopanunu people's prophecy the moon juju is our shield against evil and the source of my juju power she is strong and nice and oh so beautiful sounds like someone's got a crush oh, that's tlaylock He's not nice, and he's sure not beautiful. He's jealous and practices bad juju. At the council <laughs> that chose the new high shaman, he was passed over in favor of me. So last night, Tlaylock decided to take his revenge. Tlaylock crept into the temple of the moon with his foul servants, pins and needles, and stole the moonstones, the source of the moon juju's power. The first thing Tlaylock did was to use the Moonstones to change the Poopanunu people into stupid, helpless sheep. Without the Moon Juju, my power was only enough to protect a few. And this is only the beginning of Tlaylock's terrible plan. But Tlaylock is a fool. He won't get away with it. For the Poopanunu people's prophecy clearly says. A mighty warrior trained by the High Shaman will defeat Tlaylock and save the Moon Juju. I have trained such a warrior. His name is Lock. Tech, what are you doing? You told me to go get Lock. Yes, that's right. 
Go fetch Lock. Stop playing with the sheep. I did get Lock. No. Oh, snap. You fetched a dirty, stinky animal. That's Lock. See? He's wearing Lock's amulet. To way Lock must have changed him into a sheep. No. No, no, no. No, no. This is all wrong. <laughs> this isn't in the, the poop, 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 poop. Poop a new, new. Poop a new, new. People's prophecy. The mighty warrior doesn't become a sheep. The mighty warrior doesn't lick my foot. Stop the licking, Lock. Oh, this is terrible. Can't we just change him back? I don't know. Yes, I've got it. We can change Locke back into a mighty warrior. This great juju spirit who watches us from another world can help. Follow Tech. Protect him with your power. Go with Tech to the ancient burial ground of our ancestors and put the teeth into the statues. And get me some magical lubu plants while you're out. Now go, both of you. Lock must stop Tleilock before he destroys the moon goddess. So if we're some powerful juju spirit here or whatever, should he really be commanding us around? Shouldn't this be like the other way? We're the ones in charge here telling him what to do. I, just, just an idea, you know. <laughs> like he summoned us because we're the powerful ones and then he's having us do his grocery shopping for him. Like, come on, bro. My name's Flora. The moon juju sent me here to hang out with you and help you whenever I can. Well, it's a long road ahead. We better get started. Okay. Mandatory tutorial section. You know how it is. Long cutscene in the beginning. Didn't expect that. I feel like you see that more these days than you did back then, you know? Such long FMV sequences. By using the move stick, and if you need to jump, it's as simple as pressing the jump button. You can press the jump button twice to make a double jump. <laughs> hey, don't laugh. I like to think of myself as the... Oh, my lord. <laughs> I love how too she was like, hey, don't laugh. I didn't know she was gonna say that. That was purely I coincidence. Important to tell you. Sometimes you'll notice that the camera's not facing uh -huh. the same direction you want to go. Yeah. You can use the camera stick to rotate the camera oh, okay. around yourself. If the camera uh -huh. isn't looking in the direction you want, just use the camera stick to rotate it and so, you see what you Let me just get this straight. Rotate I wanna make sure. I want to make sure we're not confused on anything here. I use the camera stick to rotate the camera and the jump button to jump. Yep. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, so we have a bit of a floaty... Eh, the jump doesn't feel too bad. It's a little bit floaty. The double jump feels a little weird, but I think that's just more to do with the animation than anything. All right, so we got those two things. The... Are these... These are just birds. Okay. I remember, like, nothing about this game from when I played it when I was younger. The only thing I remember about this game is the fact that I played it when I was younger. Like, <laughs> nothing else. The movement feels a little bit weird. Huh. I don't know. I think I'll get used to that, though. Doesn't seem that bad. Just a little imprecise, maybe. Find most animals to be helpful in some way or another. Okay. If you come across an animal, you should experiment with it to learn how it can help you. Some animals can even be ridden. Oh, Why does this voice sound familiar? I know. These fellows are great for breaking things into little tiny pieces. Go ahead and jump on board. If you want him to speed up, try giving him a swat with your club. <laughs> so we just hop on a rhino's back and smack it every time it's not moving fast enough? Yeah, that seems perfectly reasonable. Ah, just take a nice leisurely stroll here, and then just give it a whack. <laughs> okay, we can't seem to make it speed up, like, twice. Like, this is the max speed. And then, can we make it slow down? Nope, doesn't seem like it. <laughs> okay. So, it's kind of like, kind of like Donkey Kong. You just keep riding on it until it decides to stop. Sort of deal. That's fair enough. We got a, a feather thingy. I don't remember what the feathers are for, but we got one. Oh, we got a bunch. Okay. So we probably could have broke that open with the rhinoceros, maybe, and then picked it up. But, okay, it seems like we don't really gain much momentum in the air. It seems like once we start a jump, we're kind of stuck with the power ever we were jumping. Yeah, that's probably why the movement felt a little bit weird to me. I'm just used to playing otherwise. Might be one of the girls from Jack and Daxter's. Maybe. That might be what I'm thinking of. I have no clue, though. 
I just know that voice sounds super familiar to me for some reason. I like all the little pinatas. Pinatas are fun. <laughs> Let me smack a pinata and I'm gonna smack a pinata any day of the week. Can we break this? No, okay. Oh, okay, these feathers are just hidden everywhere. They're hidden in the grass. In the pinatas. Lord knows where else. I'm sure these are for something. What's in our pause menu? Nothing. Just control information, continue, quit, and save. Triangle and circle don't do anything. The L and R buttons don't seem to do anything. I don't know if it's because we were standing still for so long or what, but it just brought up the HUD. Alright, let's just continue on. I don't think there's really any reason to go back here other than maybe collecting those feathers, but I'm sure we don't have to collect them all. Like, every last one of them. We've got pressure plates. Those are always nice. I like the aesthetic. I, I always, almost always... Yeah, yeah, lady. We can't skip you, can we? throw any item you pick up by just using the action button. If you're tired of carrying an object around and just want to set it down, press the use button. So, action button to throw, use button to sit down. I don't know which which is which, but... Oh, okay, so... So, wait, how did I pick it up, though? That's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> okay, we just walk into it, okay. And then... So, that weird circle thingy is where we're going to throw, I'm assuming? Yeah, okay. And then if we wanted to sit it down, we'd use triangle. Anyways, as I was going to say, though, uh, I almost always prefer stylized, like, cartoony aesthetic to a realistic one. If you're holding something when you grab a ledge, you'll always drop that item. You'll also drop it if you fall off tall ledges. All right. Uh, so, yeah. That, Jesus, lady. Tail monkey and quite mischievous, I might add. Monkeys like this one love throwing coconuts at other animals. All right. Hey, Thanks for the heads up. Try throwing the melon at the monkey to see what Again. <laughs> Little much, man. I don't think you have to interrupt us every every three seconds to tell us what to do. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I almost always prefer, you know, cartoony, stylized aesthetic to a more realistic one. Because the, the realistic ones don't tend to age as well, you know? Whereas something like this... Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's it's a little rough around the edges, literally. But other than that, it, it still looks nice to this day, you know? I like the setting. I like the aesthetic. But if they had tried to make this, like, a hyper-realistic game, like is so common these days, I don't feel it would have really stood, stand the, stood the test of time. Stand the... Uh, whatever. Words. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Some camera clipping there. That was... Little weird looking. Feathers are very valuable. Make mm -hmm. sure you pick up any feathers you see. To pick up a feather, just run through it. There are different kinds of feathers you can find in the world. These yellow feathers are health feathers. See how they look like the feather on the top of your head? That's because the feather on your head is also your health meter. When it turns all the way purple, you're out of health. These other feathers also give you health, but their primary use is for magic. As you progress, okay. you'll need mana feathers to do magic. That's actually good information, so thank you. Appreciate that. And then... Sorry, just gotta pull up the stream, make sure everything's looking okay. All right. So, the feather on her head is our health. That's actually very useful information. Hmm. It's a little basic, but easy to use. You're Just basic. Just the action button to swing the club. Practice on these breakable jars. You can smack stuff and break it open. <laughs> I hate just these, these really hand-holdy tutorial sections. It's... It's more than a few, damn.
Ooh. There we go. Alright, so where are we going? We're fighting what'd she call them? Were those nurdles? Yep. I wonder if there's a wall here that would stop us from falling or if we can actually just fall to our death there. I feel like I wasn't meaning to test that there. <laughs> no. No, I don't. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't meaning to test it there, but I was getting ready to say I feel like uh, this game here would not have invisible walls. Would just let you fall to your death. Boom, baby. Sorry. There's a compulsion in me. I have to break everything. I can't help it. Yeah, let's try that again, but maybe this time not jumping off the ledge would be a good idea. Uh, come on. We got the double jump, too, so... We might have been able to save ourselves if we'd been a little bit quicker on our feet. Uh, water good, water bad. Water good, okay. What up, buddy? Ooh, okay, water seemed bad for them. Maybe by knocking them into water, it's a quicker way to kill these guys. Yeah, seems like they instantly die when they touch the water, so... That's good info. I don't know if we will ever really need that info, but it's still... Quicker way to kill the enemies, always a nice thing to know, you know? Okay, so there's a random feather over there. I don't know if it's worth... Okay, that's weird. The double jump didn't work that time. Do you have to hit it, like, on your way up? Yeah, okay. It seems like you have to hit it on your way up. You can't double jump after you start falling. Or maybe there's just a bit of a lag to the double jump, and I don't know. That was weird. We'll just, uh... Yeah, that's... Why can't I double jump there? Very odd. I want this damn feather, though. There we go. Got it that time. I can't tell if we're actually taking fall damage whenever we're doing that. I I forget. Wasn't our feather like more orange before? Maybe we are taking fall damage. Wow. Look at the orangutan bend that banana tree. I wonder what would happen if you stood on the big leaf. You should try it, Tack. If we stand on the big leaf, is he gonna like fling us? Big leaf. Oh. That big leaf. Sorry, exploring. Nothing here? Okay. Well, hey, it was worth looking. Oh, wait. Did a feather just fall out whenever we jumped on that? Yeah! Always take the feather. We're gonna get our asses flung. Yep! <laughs> so these are catapults, essentially. That's sweet of them, isn't it? Pulling down the tree just to help us get from point A to point B. Can you, can you, can you pull it down though, bud? Thank you. That's a powerful tree right there, boy. I wish I could adjust the the camera. Gonna have to go into the menu and see if I can. So push the move stick left or right to line yourself up before you jump off. Okay. Will do, but can I switch the... No. Darn, I was hoping I could switch the way the camera moves when you press right and left. I like it the other way around. But it will, I guess. Oh, wait. Okay. That's not how you do that. Uh, okay, rotate. Oh, no. <laughs> it's okay. We got this. <laughs> Hold square to swing. Okay. All right, we made it. That wasn't... <laughs> Could have been better, but you know what? It did the job. We got there in the end. That's all that matters. <laughs> we were kind of swinging around in a circle there, but... Hey. Ain't nobody perfect. Q. 
Okay. Yeah, see, this is the type of game that I could play for quite a while. It's just a simple collection action platformer sort of game, you know, not quite a collectathon, not quite an action game. Just, but a nice little mix of the two. You know, similar to Ratchet and Clank and Jack and Daxter, those other games that were pretty popular at the time. Same sort of feel here. Although I do think the other two executed it better, don't get me wrong. Maybe you could use a melon to lure him away from the door. Try setting a melon down on the ground somewhere near him and see what happens. Okay. Um. Is that too far away? Ah, uh, yeah, that's what you get. Anyways, yeah, no, I think the other ones executed it better than Tack and the Power of Juju, at least from first impressions here. But still, fun. Jabulba said we needed to go to the burial grounds. We can get there from your village. Let's get started. And I mean, it's had, what, three, four sequels? So obviously it was uh, popular enough to, to warrant that, right? Nate says I'm going to love Tie the Tasmanian Tiger whenever I get around to it then. Yeah, that's another one that I've been wanting to play, honestly. This Just another one like from my that I know of from my childhood, but I never really got the chance to play much of. Everyone's been turned into a sheep. Hopefully we can help them. I don't think I... Yeah, I don't have any of the Tie the Tasmanian Tiger games yet, though, but... I'm sure I will before too awfully long. I also had a TV show. Yeah, it, was that another Nick one, wasn't it? Pretty sure that was another Nickelodeon one. Okay. I shall follow you after I'm done not following you because exploration. Always go the way you're not supposed to go first. Can I go in the pot? I can't. <laughs> and it seems to hurt. Just a little bit. <laughs> I appreciate that it popped up and showed me how much health I had left. Not just the, the feather on top, but it also had like the percentage up top. That's nice. So does it just take one hit? No, it takes, it takes multiple. So one seems to hurt and stun them. I was trying to figure out like, do they have iframes each time I hit them or does just smacking them repeatedly actually work? Nate says, Ty was awesome too. It was one of the ones I played when I was stuck in bed for three months. Yep, I think Nice fully owns the... T Nick fully owns the TAC properties now. Yeah, yeah, I know TAC, they do. TAC and the power of Juju and all that. I know Nickelodeon owns them, but I meant uh, Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. Isn't that another Nickelodeon one? Frame rate seems a little bit low in this game, though. I will say that. But, I mean, PS2 game, and this game actually looks fairly detailed. So, I can't say I'm that surprised. But it would have been nice for it to feel a little more consistent. It seems to be dropping down into the down into the 20s every now and then, it feels like. This is also a very large area with a lot of detail, though. I mean, it looks great, in my opinion, especially for a PS2 game. You know, I've played it probably a thousand times. Not literally, but close enough. The Kingdom Hearts games, but I'm still super excited to go back and play those again. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, all of them are just my favorites. Like, Hey, Nate, can you uh, ban that guy for me real quick if you have access to uh, your mod tools? Actually, here, I'll just pause for a second here. Thank you, Nate. Appreciate it. Check. 
pretty much completely lost track of where I was supposed to be going <laughs> to the to the what was it the nature juju or whatever she was. Pretty much completely lost track of her now, but <laughs> it's just, she was she was around here somewhere, right? Ooh, I see feathers. Can we? If we go down there, though, are we dead? I see a little platform. Okay, so presumably there's some way back out of here after we go down here. It's going to be funny whenever we finally do catch up with her and she just has us going to all these areas that we're exploring anyways. We're just completely wasting our time. That's probably what's going to end up happening. That happens a lot. <laughs> Oh, yep, see, there she is. <laughs> Going right down the hole that we just came out of. What was this? Warning, do not shoot the monkey. Where's... Do, is there fruit around here somewhere so I can shoot the monkey? So, I mean, now that you've told me not to, I want to. I didn't even think of it before that. Can I hit the monkey? No, doesn't seem like it. Fine. We'll stop with the monkey after we die. Okay, we'll go where we're supposed to go. Damn it. I mean, this way we can also just get into the meat and the potatoes of the game, you know? If we actually do what we're supposed to do here in the beginning. There can always, I, I presume at least, if this is anything like Ratchet and Clank and Jack and Daxter and all those other games. I presume we can always come back here and collect more stuff if we miss anything that we need for, for completionist's sake. Okay. I'm guessing you want me to go into this precarious looking elevator thing? I don't need you to tell me every single thing I'm doing, lady. Thank you, though. This is the burial grounds. All of your ancestors are buried here. Many of them great Fukunini people. Everyone here is watched over by the great warrior king. It's his tomb we have to enter to get the staff. But how else would you know? Yeah, I mean, the stuff she's telling us is just so far out of left field that how would you ever figure it out? <laughs> I don't mind, like, her telling us about this being our ancestors' burial grounds, stuff like that. But, like, hey, did you know you can jump using the jump button, guys? Or... Ah, oh, you can rotate the camera with the camera stick. Come on. <laughs> That's a little much. Hey, you see that big glowy thing over here? Maybe we should go there. Ah, oh, guys, revolutionary. Uh, also, I am terrible at jumping. <laughs> Is this bouncy? Can we get all the way back up? No. Okay, it seems like that's the, the limit to the bounciness there. Alright, uh, can I jump off it at least? Thank you. Looks like we can jump back up. I mean, okay, I'm sure we don't need every last feather, but the completionist in me tells me that we need to grab every feather as we're moving along through here. Ooh, some weird, some weird shadows there. Again, PS2 game, though, you know. What do you expect? Tis fine. Tis fine, indeed. No. Missed one? No. Where? You mean all the way down here? Well, this is the way we gotta go, right? So, I'll come back for these ones. Don't you worry about that. More pinatas. Give me all the pinatas. The only thing that is bugging me so far, really, about this game is the jumping. Like, the actual jumping part is fine, but it's just, uh, not being able to change your, your momentum in air really bugs me. And, like, it's fine. And a lot of old games did that. I'm sure there's even some newer games that do that, but personal preference has always been being able to, to control yourself midair, you know? Probably comes from me really playing a lot of Mario games growing up. Just kind of used to be 
used to that style of, of platforming. But it's not offensively bad or anything like that still. Just gonna take some getting used to as I play. Alright, let's go ahead and go this way. Kill all these knockoff piranha plants or, or what were they called in Legend of Zelda? Of course, if we don't die, these guys are actually doing some damage here. I don't remember which feathers restore health. Is it the purple ones? I know she said some were more health focused, some were magic focused. But I honestly don't remember which ones were which. I haven't seen anything specifically pop up and <laughs> say uh, that it's restoring health. Trying out monk fruit sweetener with tea. Ooh. I've never tried monk fruit. I I've tried, like, you know, some of the other popular sweeteners. Uh, mostly sugar-free ones like stevia and and then all the artificial ones and whatnot but never actually tried monk fruit what's the other popular one uh, agave agave syrup but agave syrup i don't think is actually any better for you than like fructose syrup if i remember correctly monk fruit is that a uh is that a a sugar-free one or or a low sugar sweetener I honestly can't remember. Nope. I'm not messing with you guys. Okay, so maybe just collecting feathers in general restores our health, because we were back up to 80-something. You got monk fruit, stevia, and agave. So I've heard agave is not actually all that great for you, is what I've read, because it's basically just high fructose... Uh, corn syrup, but with a different name. <laughs> like, essentially. So I've heard that's not all that great for you. Of course, in moderation, it's fine. Like, anything. Uh, but yeah, monk fruit, though, I've heard of, but I, I haven't heard much about like whether it's better or worse for you than just regular sugar. It is pretty much zero calorie with sugar alcohol. Okay, okay. Well, I do actually like sugar alcohols and like uh, chocolates and and Klondike makes no sugar added Klondike bars, for instance, that I just tried out for the first time not too long ago, and they use some sugar alcohols. Like I actually do like sugar alcohol. Mr. Noodle, my girlfriend, she seems to think sugar alcohols are a bit too sweet for her personally. Anything with sugar alcohol in it. And uh, she's not a huge fan of the chocolates. Like, she can eat it, but yeah. I, on the other hand, hardly notice the difference between sugar alcohol and, and regular sugar. Although, you gotta be careful with sugar alcohol. You eat too much of it, you will get the shits. <laughs> yeah, after looking agave, it probably will be one that sits in the cabinet. Yeah, and again, I'm not trying to dissuade you or anybody else from using agave syrup. Like, it's fine in moderation, but it is essentially, from what I've read, no expert here, definitely not a nutritionist or anything, uh, but from what I've read, it's basically just high fructose corn syrup, so. And everybody always freaks out about that, of course, because fructose isn't amazing for you in high quantities. And then for me personally, it seems like uh, it's either something with apples specifically, or it's just because apples also happen to be high in fructose. But uh, every time I eat apples, I get real bad stomach cramps and whatnot. And uh, from looking into it a bit, it seems likely it's from all the fructose. Like, uh, I probably have some sort of fructose sensitivity or something. Or, or, or just, you know, like trouble digesting fructose, essentially. Are the statues in here? No. No, they're not. Okay. I'm glad the monk fruit one's good, though. I'll have to try that out sometime. I, uh, I'm i a sucralose fan as well. I don't mind artificial sweeteners. So, I uh, that's what I usually use in my tea. It's just a little bit of sucralose or uh, whatever the, the brand name for that is. It has 60 cows and a tablespoon of the whole thing, and I was wanting something for my tea that was low or no cow. Uh, okay, and lean more towards natural side, yeah. Nothing wrong with that. But yeah, if you're wanting to go zero cal, then 60 calories per, per tablespoon is uh, <laughs> definitely not low cal. On, on the plus side, though, fructose is a lot sweeter than sugar is. 
So in that regard, it should, in theory at least, take less agave syrup or, or any other kind of fructose um, to get the same amount of sweetness as what you would prefer, but... But yeah. They said some artificial tastes good, but mess with your belly, sadly. Yeah, see, that's... That's understandable. I gladly do not have that issue, though. And, uh... I don't really have a problem with the taste of any of them. Sucralose is probably my favorite in the taste department, but... I can eat any of them and be just fine. I forget what the other ones are called, like even or something, and I don't know. <laughs> I never remember brand names for stuff. Okay, so we're supposed to be taking this to one of the statues, and this is one of the times where I wish she actually would have been like, hey, look at this big glowing orb, go there. Cause I must have missed where the statues are at. Just kind of running around collecting all of the feathers because I'm not sure where the statues were. I'm sure I probably walked right past it or something, but were they up here by the fruit? Maybe? Yes. Yes, they were. <laughs> oh, I'm good at this game. Ah, uh, see, and I hate when games do this. Because I do like to, to explore before I do whatever the game tells me to do, I prefer whenever games just have all of the collectibles freely available from the get-go instead of making you wait until it tells you to collect it to go collect it. Because we already came up here at one point, and now we have to come back and... It's, I mean, it's not, you know, too time-consuming at least, but still. It's kind of sucks because we've already been up here once. Now we got to come up again to get the tooth. Monk fruit is supposed to boost your chi. I mean, okay. <laughs> I mean, I think we all know I don't believe in any of that sort of stuff personally. But, uh, hey, for anybody that does, that's that's cool. I hope it, I hope it works for you. <laughs> So we're putting golden teeth in a statue. Or in all of the statues. Okay. Oh, they're each missing one tooth. We gotta we gotta replace it with a nice golden one. Got it. And that'll let us inside of our ancestral tombs. By appeasing the gods with with gold. Okay. Just straight on over. Easy enough. You know what this does control better than, though? Castlevania games. <laughs> I I like Castlevania games, but man, the, the jumping and whatnot in them are always rough. The 3D ones may be different. I haven't actually played any of the 3D Castlevania games. Just, you know, the old uh, Nintendo Super Nintendo ones. And a little bit of the Game Boy one. And yeah. <laughs> Gameplay? Awesome. From a, uh, at least from a, a uh, like the idea of the gameplay, right? Because I mean, the the layout of the enemies and all of the cheap deaths and whatnot, not quite so awesome. But the systems that they that they put in place, with the adventuring and the combat, the combat style, the progression that eventually led towards the newer Castlevania games. And then to Metroidvania. Of course, I appreciate that. Okay, where was this last tooth at? There it is. Okay, so... How do we get to this one? Can we just jump straight to that? No, we can't. Fine, we'll go around. This area is surprisingly large and open, with some decent view distance there. I mean, the stuff off in the distance is fairly simple, you know, just waterfalls and stuff, but still. I'm impressed for a PS2 game, to be honest. It looks nice. 
I don't remember when this one was made either, but it couldn't have been too, too late in the PlayStation 2's lifespan because there's another, what, at least two games on the PlayStation 2 for TAC? Maybe three, even. Because there's TAC 2 and... TAC 3. One of them was the Guardians of Gross or whatever, but... I can't remember which one that was, if that was two or three or... But I thought there was another one. can't remember remember though for the life of me i'm gonna look up real quick too how long was this one how long to be tack and the power of juju so the actual game's only about eight hours long that's not all that bad that's for a main plus extra your average completion time is only about six and a half hours so yeah i mean I think it's safe to say this one's probably going to be thrown on the complete list <laughs> of games to complete, but I pretty much already knew that before I even got into it, that I was going to want to complete it. Is this our first ancestor that we're uh, unlocking here, getting to talk to? Bestowing upon us some knowledge? It's nasty breath, apparently. That does not seem COVID safe, what he's doing right here. <laughs> Whoa, are you okay? Oh, that happens all the time. Part of being mummified. You get these dust balls in your throat, they feel like little rocks. So, you're the oh, God. warrior of the poop and no no people's prophecy. Mm -hmm. Come to pick up the staff of your ancestors. As me. Uh, you don't look so great to me. me? Kinda. Oh, I'm not the great warrior. That's Locke's job. I'm just here to take the staff to Jaboba. The prophecy says only the great warrior can have the staff. If you can take the staff from me, mm -hmm, you are meant to have it. Mm-hmm. Whoa. <laughs> oh, man. That's my fighting arm. What a drag. Take the staff. Great warrior, use it wisely and often, and don't ever touch me again. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay, so I guess that makes us the great warrior then, eh? It's official now. I bet those awful nerbles don't stand a chance now. Hey, you know what? I bet you can also use this thing to pole vault yourself up onto higher ledges. This could come in handy. Do you remember the that sounds cool. We should find him. Maybe you should try using your new... She didn't even finish her sentence. <laughs> it just, just stopped randomly. That was weird. I don't like the way we hold this staff. I mean, we're holding it like we're getting ready to vault with it, but it's like... Wouldn't... Uh, I don't know. Wouldn't that be hard to swing like that, though? Swing at enemies? I don't like it, guys. Ooh, we got a... Wait, how did I... Oh, okay, so that's just... We just... Anytime we're holding it and try to jump, we pole vault with it. I was trying to, like, see if there was a jump attack or something. There's... There is. It's uh, the spinning thing, but... We also just pole vault with it anytime we jump. Weird. Wasn't expecting that. Nurdles definitely don't stand a chance now. Is it really? Holding it with two hands all the way back like that? It looks really strange to me. And obviously I'm not trained in any sort of staff fighting here, but it's just... <laughs> it's just it looks very strange to me and uncomfortable. Got boom shakalaka. early 2000s called they want their sayings back man how do we can we switch oh we can also control with the d-pad i don't know why you would want to do that i mean i guess if you wanted really precise movement for platforming or something but can we like switch weapons oh okay here's our objectives though that's always nice and here's the different collectibles so i'm i'm assuming it is like jack and daxter and ratchet and clank and things where you can return and collect stuff later on because i mean it's showing us all of the collectibles that we didn't get 
So L1's power up, X is scrolls, power up, square is plants. Okay, cool. You ended up on martial arts TikTok for a while. One guy went over a bunch of weapon basic stances. Like, that looks like one of those plants that Jabulba I mean, wants. I know nothing about it, so sure. <laughs> I, I, I realize that I know so little about weapon stances, especially with a staff, that I have no say in it one way or the other. <laughs> it just, I don't know, it just seems like it would be so hard to swing like that, right? It's like, no, it's like this. No, it's like that. So then, uh, I guess you could swing it kind of like a baseball bat if you were holding a baseball bat <laughs> backwards. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. Yeah, okay, you could swing it like a baseball bat, I guess, at somebody. It's just the way he's holding it straight out, I think, is what makes it look so weird because he's holding it straight out instead of like over his head. Not saying that's the only reason I know, because I think that. Oh yeah, no, no, I know. I know you're not claiming that you're a weapons expert or anything. I'm just saying, like, I, I can't argue with you or that guy because I have no idea. Ah, nobody told me the plant was going to try to kill me. What the hell? Can we just beat it? Okay. Some faux rock music here. It's like tribal rock or something. That's kind of neat, honestly. So it smacks us if we get too close. I don't appreciate that. Okay, we're actually going to die if we keep trying to play like that. Is there... Can we, like, shoot from a distance or something? Maybe we should... Okay. Well, we died. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Sorry, we should respawn. Oh, man, we respawn with it's still damaged, too. Kind of weird that we can pull vault in the midair, but... Man, okay. It does so much damage. And I can't tell... Like, there's no dodge button or anything, so as soon as we run up to attack, it's just... It's already ready to strike. I feel like this particular enemy it kind of needs some sort of range attack or something. Or maybe I'm supposed to use the extra range of my staff. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Because I can hit it from farther away now that I have the staff here. So that slow effect is kind of neat, not going to lie. Don't appreciate all the little guys, but hey, at least now with the little guys, that was one enemy that was giving us a little bit of trouble before. But now with them, with the staff, we're able to hit them far enough away that it's not that big of a deal. Sweet. Sweet. That's what you get, you stupid plant, trying to murder me. Don't you know I'm a video game character? And that makes us immortal. But somehow you still keep all the damage that we done to you previously. Because... Physics. <laughs> okay. So we got one fruit. Oh, grab the thingy. We can switch weapons, it seems, with L1. Is it L1 and R1? Yeah, okay, so L1 seems to switch back to the club, and then R1 switches. Oh, R1 changes between them. L1 doesn't actually do anything, and it was just... I'm... I don't know. Just, I was just wrong, I guess. What's the portal do? Does that just take us right back? You are here, warp destination. Yeah, okay, that just warps back. Don't want to do that right now. I want to explore more, man. We're gonna get wrecked. Nope, never mind. We're gonna wreck them. Y'all thought. Yeah, I could see myself. I'm I'm definitely gonna beat this game at some point. Possibly even complete it at some point. 
I mean, I completed Ratchet and Clank way back in the day, and then uh, I have completed Jack and Daxter more recently, like 100%. So I'm definitely going to finish this game, possibly even complete it, because it is my style of game for sure. But of course, we have to finish Lord of the Rings The Third Age first, and we will be playing some of that today. For anybody who's in chat that's interested in a little bit of Lord of the Rings action, that will be coming up in about another hour. On my, my days where I have longer time to stream, I, I tr usually try to do about two hours for the PlayStation 2 Gauntlet, and then another two for whatever game we're trying to complete. And that's what we're trying to complete right now, is Lord of the Rings The Third Age. For anybody that doesn't know what the PS2 Gauntlet is, you can just uh, follow that link there for a little bit more information. But basically, I am trying to collect and stream a little bit of every PlayStation 2 game released in North America. And yes, Nate, I will definitely hydrate. Thank you. Ooh. Get a little bit of drink in us, moisten up that throat muscle take two sips actually that's actually something i need to remember to do for my next long stream because i forgot to do it today is enable the community event for everybody to donate to for the 12 hour stream because uh, i have a couple days coming up where i'm fairly certain i'll be able to do that just need to figure out work schedules for the significant other there uh to make sure that i will you know have the time without, without too much of an interruption but other than that, like there's a couple days where I don't have anything significant planned and I would be able to stream for the 12 hours straight that I would like to do. And for that, we'll probably do a few hours, assuming that we meet the goal, of course. Not going to do it if we don't. Uh, we'll probably try again, though, because I think it would be fun. Anyways, uh, <laughs> assuming that we do meet it, though, we'll probably do like uh, two or three different PlayStation Gauntlet games and then maybe do a little bit of extra time on lord of the rings or whatever game we're trying to complete at that time if we've happened to have completed lord of the rings by then um on that same web page that i linked to with the exclamation point ps2 i also have uh, updates i was going to do weekly updates but then i decided that i would do bi-weekly so right now there's only one update but i have one in my drafts that i'm going to put up on probably like saturday and it's just a quick update on games that I have collected in the past couple of weeks and what I've been streaming and, and playing and things like that. Nothing too exciting. If there's any other large announcements, though, I will always put it on the blog there. But right now, I mean, there's nothing major really to go over. It's just doing more of this, right? Collecting and streaming and just having a fun time with y'all. We've been getting a lot of support from, you know, friends and people that I know and things like that. And I really appreciate it, especially Nate and chat. Always here with the, not only the viewership and the conversation, but the bits, the, the, the subs. Appreciate it all. Okay. I feel like there's probably going to be another one of those plants around here, right? Up there? Yeah, I think I can see it already. Nerdle stand no chance. Killing all the nerdles. And collecting their feathers, because apparently everything in this universe has feathers. <laughs> I don't quite understand it, I'm not gonna lie, but hey. Run away! Yeah, this these guys are pretty easy now that we know what the heck we're doing really about just the extra keeping keeping a bit of distance between us and it we were just getting way too close before we need to use the extra distance that the staff provides us to our advantage and we should also of course watch for okay we're gonna end up dying because i'm an idiot we should of course also watch for those those seeds that he's throwing at us though that that blow up because those will leave a mark Yeah, those ones right there. Those are the ones that I was talking about. <laughs> those ones hurt a little bit. Let's collect some feathers. Hopefully regain a little bit of health without falling off the map. 
preferably. I would like to collect feathers, please. I'm assuming collecting the feathers are, are increasing our health. Okay, just, just a little bit more. Maybe... Wait, was that it? Oh, that was it. Okay. No problem, man. Good content. Plus, the series has reminded me of so many games I want to revisit because I never got to finish them. Yeah, I mean, that's a... Plants here. We should try somewhere else now. All the plants here. Okay. That's a large reason why I'm doing it myself, you know? And again, I, I've mentioned it before in different streams, but that's the reason why I decided to start with the PlayStation 2. It's, in my opinion, it's not the best platform to collect for, right? There's a lot of games, nearly 1800s, not including unique varieties or anything like that, or unique variants of games. Uh, so there's a lot of them to collect for. Price-wise, they're not too bad. A lot of retro games have recently skyrocketed in price, sadly. The PlayStation 2 is one where, I, I mean, a lot of the games have gone up in price, but it's not an unreasonable level, at least. And uh, we're dead. <laughs> um, <laughs> there doesn't seem to be any penalty for dying, at least. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so I mean, price-wise, it's not too bad or anything. But there is just a lot to collect on the PlayStation 2. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's for a lot of people, it's better to start for, like, a handheld console that doesn't have as many games for it. Or maybe a uh, cartridge console like the Sega Genesis or N original Nintendo or something. You know, something with half as many games. But I'm, I'm nostalgic about the PS2. It was my favorite childhood, early teenage console by far. So that's kind of, that's where my nostalgia lies. So I wanted to, I wanted to collect for it. Revisit all these old games that I never got to complete or, or, or play through or heard of and never owned. Because, you know, didn't have the chance to buy it. All right, we uh, somehow accidentally made our way all the way back here, so let's go <laughs> back through the, the door here. She said that was all the plants, so other than feathers, I don't think there's anything else we really need to worry about collecting here. And as far as I can tell... So it's burial ground, tax village, plants, 3 of 3, total collected 3 of 12. Yeah, so as far as I can tell, it doesn't seem like it really tracks the feathers anyway, so I'm assuming the feathers will just be some sort of, like, power-up system or, or, you know, purchasing system in general or something, but that camera was a, <laughs> a little jank there for a second, eh? It says he gets that a lot of your favorite games, worlds, to be in were on PS2 as well. Yeah, yeah, just an amazing console, man. A lot of really interesting things. There was a lot of... Uh, I would say there was more experimentation maybe with the PlayStation 1, but a lot of them, because of hardware limitations and also 3D being new and whatnot, just didn't really end up being particularly good games, you know? <laughs> so with the PS2 having the extra power that it did and uh, still, you know, a fair amount of experimentation with the early 3D, I feel like there was a lot of unique experiences. I'll show you the way. And the game types like this that you just don't see a whole lot anymore. You know, you do somewhat in the indie scene, and that's why I think I like indie games so much as well. But you don't see a whole lot of games like this anymore made from big studios, and that's that's sad. Alright, so how exactly are we getting back over here? Oh, please. Oh, okay, we just have to time our jumps. That's not too bad. I didn't realize that that thing was spinning at first, so I was like, how the hell are we going to get all the way over to that? There's no way we can jump that far. Even with the staff and the pole vaulting, I don't think we can jump that far. I'm excited to play the second and third tack games, just because I want to see what kind of improvements they did as well, you know? Like, for instance, my, my one big complaint with the not being able to change your velocity midair. I wonder if maybe in the second or third game they address that. Okay, I'm just keep following her for now, I guess. I don't think there's any big collectibles here or anything that we gotta get. 
Stop complaining. I'm not even complaining. I've said so many good things about this, Mr. Noodle. It's not my fault that as soon as you... Or I happen to be complaining when you join chat. Maybe you should stop complaining. Did you ever think of that, love? Oh, God, I thought we were dead. At some point, we got to be able to slide down those vines, right? For sure, Attack was one of the ones I've played on each of the consoles. Yeah, that's the thing. I think... So, I, I don't have my full... Because I, I have a list of just my PS2 games. Then I have a list of all of the games that I own. Uh, which, actually, I need to update with all my new PS2 games at some point. But, anyways. Uh, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure... So, I know I own at least three TAC games on PS2, right? Pull up my list here. Uh... TAC, yeah, TAC 2, Staff of Dreams, TAC, TAC and the Guardians of Gross, TAC and the Power of Juju. And then I have the Nintendo DS game, which I don't have any way of capturing, sadly. This is actually a good time for a break. I wasn't paying attention, and it's uh, ad time, I see. So <laughs> we'll let the auto ads play out while we just BS here for a second. Uh, but on the Nintendo DS, I have TAC Mojo Mistake. So that's another one. And then I'm pretty sure I have a TAC game on the Nintendo GameCube as well, actually. But I can't remember the name of that one. And that's why I can't remember if there were two or three games, TAC games, on the PlayStation 2. Because, I, you know, I have five, I think. But one of them's on the DS, and I'm pretty sure one of them was on the, the GameCube. <laughs> I always like little idle, idle animations and things like that. Those are always nice. Mr. Noodle sticking her tongue out at me. How rude. And she tries to say I'm the rude one here. Hmm. Imagine. <laughs> Alright. Ad break over. Let's get back into it. I was too engrossed in the game and just forgot to keep an eye on my, my ad timer over there. <laughs> oop, oop, oop. Looks like we can go up here. How am I rude to you? Sly Cooper's idle animations were great. Sly Cooper is great, okay? Just pretty much everything about it. <laughs> Mr. Noodle sending kissy faces now. Go to Lower Tree Village. Wait. Lower Tree Village? We're going up. Wouldn't that be Upper Tree Village? <laughs> or are we in the Under Tree Village right now? <laughs> Tack, I'm not seeing any people. It looks like all the tree villagers have been turned into sheep as well. It's so sad. These people are so peaceful. Nothing bad should ever happen to them. I don't think I've ever played Sly 3, Nate. I played uh, the first one, like, all the way through, and I've played at least some of the second one. But I don't remember if I've ever actually played the third one or not. Or four, for that matter. It's another one of those series that I, I hope they do more... You can get that sheet to run, the motor will work. You know, uh... Not remakes, per se, but remasters or whatever with. Or, or, or just, like, modernize it, just make more games. Right, because it doesn't really need a remake or remaster. That's what I was trying to say. Just, just sequels. That's what they're freaking called, man. <laughs> I hope they make more sequels for because very good games and I would love to see it in the modern day. Why are the sheep running away? Did they... Well, since the 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 guy, right? The, the big guy that was supposed to be the savior of us all. He was licking the dude's foot, so I'm assuming they kind of lost their their human minds whenever they were transformed as well. Just just turned into to pure pure sheep. Brings a new meaning to to sheeple. <laughs> they did amazing on three. Four was on PS3, and you never got that one. Okay. Yeah, I had the. Growing up, I had the first couple on PS2. I don't think I ever had the PS3 one though, or I'm sorry, the third one. Um, and then I got the collection on, I believe it was on PS3, with Sly Cooper 1, 2, and 3. I'm not sure if I ever got the fourth one or not myself, though. 
All right. Come on, buddy. Pull down the tree. Thank you. What if you jump on this motor to see what it does? So much detail for a PS2 game, man. This is this is awesome. Oh, so we can slide down it already. Okay. I guess when I was messing around with it a little bit before, I just wasn't jumping in the proper area f with it. We. You got lucky in Kabar, the ones you didn't have from your cousin. Yeah, I had a I had a GameFly subscription when I was younger, so I was able to rent a lot of games that way. And uh, we have a uh, we had a warehouse, a GameFly warehouse, not too far from where I lived at the time. So it only took about two days for for a game to get to me. Could rent pretty much any PlayStation two or three game that I wanted. More two than three at the time. Three was still relatively new. Um. I'm pretty sure they even had like PlayStation 1 games sure there. Some sheep when we first got here. I bet bringing the sheep here would do the trick. Wait, can we pick up the sheep? Can we can we carry them around? Just kidnap people and make them do our bidding? <laughs> it's a good thing this dude never stops running after you attack him. Oh yeah, yeah, triangle to carry sheep. Okay, but <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Oh lord, look at that. We can't jump, we can't attack, we can't do anything. We're just, we are a sheep now, guys. This looks like, this looks... Sheep are friend. Sheep are... <laughs> I, just, I just love how we become the sheep. It's not like we're carrying the sheep at this point. We, we are sheep. Oh wait, he stole my sheep. Is he just gonna, he's gonna fling it over for me? Ah, that was nice of him. Thanks, orangutan friend. Oh. And away we go. Get on the treadmill. Uh, treadmill, please. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So I, I pres oh, we stupid tack. Turn the wrong way. There we go. Throw him right on there and then smack him. Perfect. Look at that. <laughs> what I want to know is... Thanks, B. Anyways, uh, so, like, there weren't always, you know, sheep. All the villagers weren't always sheep. Sheep. Sheep in this universe, right? So who spent the time to build all these treadmills and things that are sheep powered <laughs> for doors and things? Remember, if you want to switch between your club and the blowgun, just press the toggle weapon button. It's weird that they don't tell you. I, I'm like, what button it is? They just say toggle blowgun. It makes me wonder if they had a. Uh, done the voice acting before they did the controls, like, before they finished deciding how you were going to control the game. I wish I could change to inverted for the shooting. Oh. Okay, so you don't really even have to aim at something. You just have to aim close to something, and it'll auto-aim for you. That makes it kind of nice, I guess. What? This sheep's lazy? Why is this one so lazy? Did you see that? He's not running anymore. Can I actually hit the thingy over there? Yeah. Cool, cool. So the staff doubles as a blow gun. That's nice. And now we got a bag of never-ending acorns. We solved world hunger, essentially, right? So we got an infinite bag of holding that's for some reason can only hold acorns. Who's the man? Oh, you're not dead. Thought you were dead. Sorry, my bad. Ah, uh, now I want to find that monkey that it said do not shoot earlier. Now I want to find it and shoot it, <laughs> just to see what happens. I'm guessing they just get angry and throw something at you or something, but... I mean, I guess I could try to shoot this one and see what he does. Ooh. Yeah, okay, he just... <laughs> he, he just hits you back. That's fair. 
fair, honestly. I shoot you with an acorn, you smack me with whatever you throw. Okay, so we're back to getting more of the plant parts now. So you can tell that's just a flat picture in the background, not like an actual 3D model or anything. But it still looks nice. They did a decent job with it. And I mean, somebody spent the time just probably... Uh, it looks almost hand-drawn, right? With that, as organic as it is. I'm sure it was computer generated, but it looks almost hand drawn. It looks nice. Like I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind a higher resolution version of that as like a desktop background or something, you know. Kind of feel bad for these little guys, man. We're just coming in here, smashing their nest, killing them all. Like they're just creatures of the earth too, man. They just want to live. Why would we shoot the orangutan? What would that do for us? I mean, I gotta try it. Okay, nothing. He just kind of... Just kind of wonders what the hell happened while you're shooting him. Which, you know, fair. How's the stream looking today, Nate? Is it looking all right? Like I said, I mess around with some settings and things. And I'm actually using the OBS preview window to play the game now, so I can see for sure that things aren't too dark anymore. But I'm hoping by uh, switching to a constant bitrate, the, the quality of the stream itself will be a little bit higher than it was using quality-based encoding like I was before. I mean, we're getting... Like two and a half times the bitrate this way, so I'm assuming it'll look a fair bit nicer. So wait, do we shoot that? Is that what you're telling us to do? No. Okay. Do we shoot the monkey over there? What does that do? Oh <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What happened? <laughs> So I flung him over to the other tree. Do we do that again? Okay, nope, he hit us that time. So I'm assuming we somehow had to get the orangutan over here to the other tree. Seems like that's that's our goal here, right? So how do we do that though? Do we shoot the bananas? Nope, the bananas are hitting that. Do we shoot friend? Nope, that's a bad idea. <laughs> Do not shoot, friend. Uh, okay, try shooting the bananas again. Nope, that doesn't seem to do anything. It seems like we gotta get the orangutan over here, right? Try shooting the monkey up in there again. He's gonna throw it at us again. Maybe if we stand over here, he'll think the monkey did it? The orangutan did it? Ah, come on. Stop hitting the tree. Okay, try this again. No, I wasn't trying to... <laughs> okay, well, that's... This is what I was trying to do, so maybe. Okay, yeah, and that got him over there. So that's kind of what I thought we had to do, but I couldn't get in a position where he would shoot the orangutan instead of shooting me. Nice. Can we just shoot this guy now? Will that actually do damage to him? I guess the uh, one problem with that, he uh, he's going to keep throwing crap at us, right? Ah, uh, it doesn't seem to be doing any damage to him anyways. The the acorns are, are too weak. We're gonna die. Sorry, we just gotta we just gotta gotta do no damage around here. We got this. Yeah, run away. 
I just need to pay attention to which ones are going to blow up and which ones are going to just spawn these little guys. That's what I need to be careful about. Nice. Get him when he's taunting for extra damage. Oh, dude. We, we healed so much there from picking up the the uh, the feathers. Too easy. Look at that. From the brink of the death to, to murdering plants, man. And glitching out on his hitbox. Check it. So do we need to collect all 12 of these before we go back to the dude, or...? Okay, so... Uh, nope. I'm dead. <laughs> I, I, I had already started the jump, and I was like, wait a second, I don't want to do that. But it was too late. Can't do shit. Once you once you jump, you gotta commit, man. You're in it at that point. There we are. That's how we get over here. Nurdles, too easy. I think we might go this way. The way the sign's pointing at. There's another one of those creepy plants. They're not that bad. Oh, I bet my co-host for the Just One More Level podcast, uh, the Dorseman, I bet he would love this game, man. And I do mean that completely sarcastically, because he uh, he hates plants. Like he, He's not a big fan of them in general, but especially ones that, you know, eat protein, <laughs> like uh, Venus flytraps and things like that. And that's kind of what this is reminding me of, just a, a more ferocious Venus flytrap. So he would he would love this game, man. <laughs> I have to suggest it for the podcast at some point. Make him play it. Okay, can we maybe use that to get up here? Like climb up this. It looks like it's anchored to the floor. Uh, it's kind of hoping to rotate the camera. There we go. then you definitely have to get him to play it, yeah. <laughs> so I'll, I'll suggest it for the Just One More Level podcast at some point. <laughs> Honestly, like, I do think it would be a good one to play on there, just in general, but also just uh, his hatred for plants would be <laughs> would be great. Okay, so we can slide down now, right? Maybe, if we can grab it. And there it is. Now we can fight the plant. I've never thought to ask him how he feels about the the plants that are very similar to these in the Legend of Zelda games. Because, of course, all of the 3D Zelda games have... I can't remember the name of them, but the, the, the plant's very similar to these. Like, very, very similar. Ah, come on. Stop throwing the bombs at me, bro. Yeah, there you go. Taunt me. Try to show your dominance by by dancing back and forth. And pretending that I can't hit you when you do that. Thank you. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. I totally feel like I should... Whoa, what? What? Just use, like, a breath of death on us or something. <laughs> Come on, just, 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 just get him. Oh, okay, it seems like we can't kill him until he, he starts the taunting thing again. There we go. It wouldn't let us do that last point of damage until then. So far, I'm the only one to confirm for D&D. Yeah, yeah, and the other one's practically confirmed. Yeah, I mean... I guess, I mean, there's still time. Other people could end up confirming, but we'll see what happens. Oh, I didn't realize I was so close to death. Texted caught and pinged one of the others, no reply. That sucks. I mean, it's still early in the day, though, right? It's, uh, what, 7 o'clock, so we'll see. Anything could happen in the next four hours. Got a message. Let me make sure it's nothing important, but I doubt it is. It almost never is. Yeah, no, nothing important. Just a bunch of Twitter and emails and crap. 
Alright, so we got a swingy thingy. Uh, that looks a little too far to swing uh, to. This vine. It looks too slippery and slimy and gross. Wait, what? So I mean I can't even grab onto it? Was it just to slide down here? Was that the whole point of it? Eh, don't die. Magic Nubu Plant 2 ahead. Well, I mean, that's what I'm here for. I want all the Magic Nubu Plants. So that's two. I, I'm guessing this is three then, the blue one. But what's this way? Okay, can we get rid of these random pots? I like the way they did the foliage in this game, too. Like, that's nice, man. It adds some depth. Like, they're still just flat textures, essentially, but... Because, the, I mean, rendering that many polygons just for, for something like foliage wouldn't have really been feasible on the PlayStation 2 without sacrifices in other areas. So by just having a texture slightly raised off the ground like that, that's nice, man. Nice touch. Yeah, that's if we have to do that, we have to do that. I'm, that's fine. I'm not uh, super prepared, but I'm prepared enough that we can do the next session for sure. Strino says her break's over. Gotta mute me. Okay. That's fine. Thank you for coming in during your break. Love ya. Slide on down. Maybe, if we could grab the thing. Wait, can we... Oh, nope. Okay. I was, <laughs> I was thinking maybe we could jump on here because I see that the feather to the side there. Oh, we can swing while we're on here, though. Okay. But yeah, yeah, I was thinking we could jump, so I hit the X button, and uh, you definitely can't jump. <laughs> you can die. That's an option. <laughs> but no jumping while, while sliding. <laughs> eh, some more nerdle nests. Nerdle Nest ain't got shit on Juju. Or not Juju, Tack. His name's Tack. We're the great and powerful Juju. <laughs> hey Tack, did I ever tell you that lots of animals like to eat melons? Wait, are you saying that we can use the melons? Uh, maybe we can use the melons to, like for the orangutan. Yes, so if we sit it down here. Okay, so that's a lot easier than trying to get a random monkey to shoot the orangutan or, or throw something at the orangutan. What's over here? Uh, another nurdle nest, but... Can, can we hit the nurdle? Can we, can we get off the, the nest? Thank you. Wait, is it dead? It's not dead! Smack it! Perfect. There's a sheep. Okay, we'll go- we'll go back and kill the plant first. It's obvious that's what it wants us to do, so... We'll go get the sheep, and then we'll- we'll, we'll see about coming back over this way, maybe. Or not the sheep, the plant. We'll get the plant! Excuse me, me, sir, orangutan. Thank you. Throw me, BB. <laughs> Poor Tack, man. He's always getting thrown around and abused. When I first started talking about how uh, there's a lot of different animals that like melons, I was thinking it was trying to tell me I could feed melons to these plants and have it, like, I don't know if it would damage them or what, but... I was a little confused, to be honest. Like, seems like this isn't a, a plant eater here. <laughs> seems like this plant wants to eat some 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 meat. Nice. It seems kind of pointless to attack it actually when it's not doing the taunting stuff. I just need to kind of dodge and let it do its thing. Oh, that wasn't a taunt. That was the the breath of death. Death breath. We got six. That's what. That's half. Okay, that's all the plants here. 
We should okay. try somewhere else now. We can do that. I wonder if you have to collect every feather for completion in this game. Oh, uh, okay, where was that sheep? We saw a sheep somewhere right over here. Look at that. Convenient, man. What were the chances that there was going to be a, a sheep over here just waiting for us? We're so lucky that a villager got trapped here and, and turned into a sheep. Just moments away from a treadmill that happens to be powered by a running sheep. Oh, and that takes us right back to the beginning area here. Very nice. Uh, so do we go back down now, or... I'm thinking maybe we go back down, leave this area. Yeah. That's what I'm guessing. I'm sure the, the nature juju person will, will tell us if we're wrong. Fairly quick loading screens, too, which I appreciate. And large areas to play around in, that's always nice. Well, we still need to get more plants. We haven't explored the other side of the island yet, so we should try there next. Yep, let's do it. Lead the way, Miss Spirit. Grab the thing. Thank you. I'm liking the music in this game, too. It's nice. It's going as good as it's going to get. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> sounds like it's going poorly, but you don't expect it to get better. So, uh, if you can hear me, I'm sorry about that, Mr. Noodle. Uh, I have to go right now. Um, this is the way to Chicken Island and Dry Rock Canyon, but you'll need to figure out how to get through this gate. I'll come back as soon as I can she leave the water boiling at home or something like what the heck okay so it seems like we need a rhino or something right because that's what we use to get through there at ah, maybe in this random cage here can we get in it though i was thinking maybe we just jumped on this thing on top and that would get us in here but nope huh Okay. Do we throw a sheep on there? <laughs> no, we can't. We can't carry sheep up. We can only take sheep down drops. Hmm. That's something to do with the monkey. Oh, damn. Their acorns they throw are powerful as heck. <laughs> Why don't we have explosive acorns that we can throw, man? Doesn't seem fair. So can we... Is there any way to get off of a rhino other than just... Okay, we can't... We can press triangle to jump back off it at any time. Good, good. Because I was wanting to explore... What's over here? There's all these ropes that we can climb, right? Or no? No, okay. I guess we can't actually climb these. They're physics enabled, which I wouldn't have expected, but neat nonetheless. Okay. So just more parts of the village. Is there anything to do over here, though? It doesn't really look like it. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll follow the way that it seems like we're supposed to go for now. We can always come back here later. Oh, are we going to make it? Yeah. Uh, smack him, please. Oh, this was the end anyways. I guess we didn't really have to get back on the rhino, but too late. Oh, wait, that was just a big circle. Shoot, okay. <laughs> I guess we are supposed to go that other way then. We'll figure it out eventually. 
Maybe we follow this sign. Way to Numa Dunes. Yeah, I think we go this way. Okay. Do we get like a flying ability at some point or something? Or, oh no, we probably have to get on that vine over there and that vine will let us swing around in a big circle maybe. That's how we collect all them feathers. So is this basically like a hub world for us then? This is just how we get to all the different levels. Way to the shrine, Numa Dunes. The Numa Dunes are where we wish to go. Camera turning slowly. Okay. Looks like we've already done that section. What's this? Numa Dunes. Good, good. So we're heading the right way. When in doubt, take the stick out. Uh, I don't think that's a saying. Tack. You can't just take the stick out every time you're in doubt. That's how you end up in jail. <laughs> okay, and then platform. Are we teleporting to Numadoon? I see there's like an airship over there. I want to ride that thing. I'm sure we will eventually, but like... Who needs teleporter magic when you have freaking airships? Oh, nope. I'm trying to look down here. Just random platforms that don't go anywhere? Okay. Sure, why not? You're in Tax Village. No, that takes us to the burial ground, not Numadoon. Okay, so that's not the right way. That was a really bad jump. We're dead. <laughs> I'm glad death doesn't do anything. Oh, and thank goodness our, our guiding spirit lady came back to, to retrieve us from the depths, if you will. Okay, jump from the platform, maybe. Oh, Jesus. All right, come on. Spin back around. Got to gotta get a bit of a running start here. As we wait for the platform, eventually. There we are. Ah, we got it. Okay, so... Are the Numa Dunes up here? No, that's where we just came from, isn't it? Numa Dunes, that way. Shrine, that way. Okay, so we want to go this way. We're following the purple signs, it would seem. Which definitely say to go this way. Really? We got cur killed by a Nurdle? Eh, you'll get him next time. Yeah, that's what you get. Oh, is it going to spin all the way around this time? It is. Nope, never mind. <laughs> I hate waiting for platforms, man. I get too impatient. There we are. Okay. So do we have to go... to the burial ground to get to the Numa Doom? Or am I missing something? I feel like I'm probably missing something. Let's uh let's jump on these little platforms here. Can I go down farther and I just didn't see it? No, I definitely can't jump all the way over to there. I guess let's go to the burial ground. Maybe there will be a, a sign for Numadoon. Oh, you know what? Yeah, maybe we just needed to get the the blowgun before we could make our way to, to Numadoon at the burial ground. Because obviously we've already been at the burial ground, but we didn't have the blowgun when we were there last time, so. Okay, do we have a sign for Numadoon, maybe? It doesn't look like it. Hmm. 
Wait, nope. You're dead already. We killed you. Yeah, I don't think this is the way we go, man. Let's go back through the teleporter again. We, I feel like we probably missed something somewhere. We're going to go back. There's probably a signpost telling us which way to go, and we just overlooked it. Ow! Rude. Okay, so... The sign definitely seems to be pointing this way, right? Do we go... Oh, shit. I thought it was gonna keep spinning. I didn't realize it was spinning backwards now. Come on, run, Tack! No! We're gonna have to wait. Is it the pink or the purple signs that we're following? I don't remember. I think it's the pink. I think. Come on. Yep, thank you. Yeah, it definitely says Numa Dune that way. And then, what's this sign? That sign doesn't say anything. Let's check our objective screen. What's it say? We need to return nine plants, so we're almost there. All objectives completed. You have found the Juju Acorn. Power-ups. We don't have any power-up stuff. Hmm. Numa Dunes Shrine. I don't think the shrine is where we're supposed to be going. What's the shrine do, though, if we stand here? Anything? No. Shrine does not care about us at all. That's fair. I wouldn't care about us either if I was a mysterious ancient shrine. Okay. Numa Dunes. I'm going to look it up real quick. Normally, I would just keep uh, exploring, but I don't want to hold up the stream. Okay. Okay, so I think Numa Dune isn't actually where we're wanting to go. And just by the quick look that I did there, it's saying that you have to get another item, it looks like, before we can get there. So maybe that little village section that we saw earlier on, maybe that's where we should actually be headed. Down, down here. And maybe this is what we should be doing. Can we, uh, can we, like, grab that and... Nope, okay. I mean, maybe we can, and I just screwed it up, but... Okay. Are these jumpy pads? Oh god, yeah. They're very hard to walk on jumpy pads. Wait, what's this one? Dry Rock Canyon. Yeah, isn't that what she said? I think maybe that's what she said. Oh, that was not a good jump. Let's get the, the catapult. Not the catapult. The vault vaulting pole back out. That's what we want. Even though it hurts us every time we land. Nice is right. Sweet is also right. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> I don't know why I just suddenly started to lose control. It's like... <laughs> uh, it's like I was trying to walk across that skinny, that skinny platform there and suddenly I forgot how to walk straight. So it's like, maybe I can just jump to the other side and save it, but no. No, that definitely did not work. 
collect that, please. Okay, kill this before we run across so we don't get scared. There we are. There we are. See, nice and easy, man. You just gotta walk straight forward. It's not it's not that hard, I promise. Ooh, is this some sort of weird elevator contraption again? You can take this tram if you ever need to get there. Tram! Tram! They got trams in this world, man. These tribal people here, the the what are the people called? The Poopa Noo News? Poop Poopa News? Whatever <laughs> whatever they're called. They got some advanced technology, man. Looking good. Ugh, dry rock is not a friendly place. The rams are grumpy, the cacti explode, and all the people left a long time ago. Let's not spend any more time here than we have to, okay? Aren't the rams always grumpy? I mean, all the ones I've met so far have been trying to kill me, so... I just assume they all wanted to kill me? Oh! The plants blow up. The, the plants blow up. We gotta remember that. Okay, growing in a random rock patch somehow. That's some hardy ass plants right there, man. Grow in the middle of a rock. Can we make that jump to that ram? I don't know why we'd want to exactly, but... <laughs> But we can. Sometimes that's all that you need, man. The knowledge of knowing whether or not you can. Kill some more nerdles. I don't even remember if that's actually their name. I'm probably saying it wrong. Oh, you know another game that I've been wanting to play more of recently? The new Pokemon Snap. I got it and played through the first handful of levels of it, but I never got around to actually beating it. And I mean, I love Pokemon Snap, man. Should totally play more of it soon. Wait, what? <laughs> the ram is in love with the sheep? I just carried that sheep down here because like, why not? I didn't realize that was actually going to uh, help me in any way. Okay, these plants are blowing up. Thankfully, the noxious gas doesn't seem to bother us. But I'm assuming the explosion part would, so we'll try to avoid that. Following the path of, of feathers seems like the best idea. Probably don't need the, the staff at this point. Okay, let it blow up first, and then jump over it. That works, too. Uh, oh, okay, this isn't this isn't a giant rock. This is a little pool of water. I mean, it still looks pretty rocky, but... And for some reason, it's slippery? I don't know why it feels like ice. What the hell is that? I don't remember this attack being a thing. <laughs> yep, okay. It's <laughs> just smacking us over and over again. Not only do I not remember this attack being a thing, it's a bit annoying, but then they had to go and do it on, you know, where it's like ice. I would love to go in and hit him while he's doing this, this animation here, but I can't move on freaking ice, man. Okay, so we just gotta just keep dodging his throws, wait for him to get cocky, like that, and then kill him. GG. GG. Not bad. Not sure why Udenly Ice Physics. I guess the, the rock here is just super slippery. Also, another death by Nurdle. Probably the worst way I can imagine going, man. Death by Nurdle. Ooh. Plant drop feathers. There you go. Just, just jump over the ice. If you're not walking on the ice, it can't affect you, man. Die. Okay. 
Okay, keep going around. Um, do we just jump down? Only one way to find out. <laughs> Can we dive in the water? No, it doesn't seem like it. Happens if we go in the waterfall portion, though. Nothing. Okay. Had to find out. It's a deep pool of water here, man. Okay, so that sheep is still in, in love with that... Or the, that ram is still in love with that sheep over there. Do we just go down now? Hmm. Kind of thought that it would tell us, like, show us where the next one was after we beat one. Or I would see a sign or something. I mean, there's a decent possibility that I'm just blind and it did show us where to go. That's always a possibility. Get up. Couldn't go this way. Oh, we can, but we already went that way, right? So what's around this way? Um, I'm guessing this is going to, like... Oh, no. Okay. I thought that was going to, like, fall or crumble or something, because it looks like it's just sand very precar precariously sitting there. Can't hear me, but you think you're getting this Mickey and Minnie Squishmallows. I mean, you can't hear me, but I'm going to say go for it. <laughs> go ahead and get them. I guess I can, uh, I can do it at Mr. Noodle. She collects plushies of all different kinds. And uh, at where she works, she saw a couple really cute ones not too long ago. Mickey and Minnie based ones. Nay degrees, now you have to do it. Again, not that you can hear me, but if you could. <laughs> okay. So, I'm not sure if we're going the right direction. I'm gonna keep going this way anyways. I mean, we got the message that... Oh, it's gonna hit us right... Oh, we got lucky as hell. Oh, wait, this isn't actually a death zone anyways. I thought we would die if we went down here. Okay. I am thoroughly lost, I admit another shrine. Does this one do anything? Nope. Does not. Okay, I don't think we need to be over in this area. I see a feather over there. A door that we definitely can't do anything with at the moment. Ah, oh, that was just a random feather. Not even... Not even a helpful feather. Did that sheep just get blown up? <laughs> I like how its fur changes colors and everything to signify that, you know. It got got. Run away from the sheep or the, the ram or whatever. Animals are hard. Oh, please don't fall. Let's go this way first, shall we? I think we could have went that way, too. Is that... Oh, wait, no. I think that's where the plan is. Okay, we'll go that way, then. Although, wait. How do we get up there? I don't know. We'll try going that way first. I think that's, that's going to end up being the right way, I think. Run away. No, don't miss the stupid jump. Nate says he gets it. He grabbed a Pikachu plushie that had a flower for your fiance because it was adorable and she likes plushies. They're hard to pass it up. Pass up. My son has Squirtle one for the same reason. Yeah, dude. I mean, I think they're really cute. I like the plushies, um, especially like Pokemon ones and whatnot, of course, because big Pokemon fan. But uh, I've just never really been a, a plushie or collectible person, really. It's like having having space for them all and whatnot. I just I don't. Nice, all kinds of feathers. You know, for this being called Dry Rock Canyon, there sure is a lot of freaking water around here.
like a lot of freaking water. Okay, so I don't think we can jump that high. Mm. Maybe? No, okay. Can't jump that high. Just can't get there from here. It's so close, though. Can this stupid ram just leave me alone for a second? Can... What? No, that's BS, man. It did not have me. Run away, run away, run away. <laughs> I imagine we're supposed to grab, like, a sheep or something. And, and, and deal with it that way, but... <laughs> oh, no, where did we get knocked down to? Okay, back down to here. Funkos and cars are your main collectibles, says Nate, but you grab other things on occasion since they look cool or are cute. Yeah, fair. I mean, I, I can't blame you at all. And I do collect cards as well. But, like, the Funkos and the plushies, the stuff like that, I think they're very cool. I just... Spaceman, you know? I have none, so... Maybe someday, whenever I have, like, a dedicated room just for my gaming, collecting, streaming sort of stuff, maybe then... I'll worry more about, like, the Funkos and stuff, at least for my favorite game characters and, and things like that. Okay. So, we can go to the weird dong-shaped rock over here. And then maybe get up from there. I like the little random hieroglyphs. They probably give us better hints if we spent more time looking at them. I saw one showed like something about the pole vaulting up a rock, but obviously we had already been told about that. I didn't take a good look at what that one showed, but looks like it could have possibly have been helpful. Dong shaped rock to the rescue. Oh, I get it. We had one got lucky with that built-in display case before that, it kind of sucked grabbing them because I could only have a couple out. And that's kind of how I feel about it too. Like with video games, I, it, you know, I can pull them out and play with them easily enough or whatever. So it's not that big of a deal with my collection for them. And then, then my cards, they don't take up a whole lot of space. You know, I got a couple couple bins for them and that, that kind of solves most of that problem. But with like Funkos and things that you wouldn't generally play with, like, having them packed away kind of defeats the whole the whole purpose, in my opinion. So, I don't really like grabbing them just to have them hidden away. I would want to I would want to show them off. Get a case like that or, or a shelf or something to put them up on. I mean, I still have a couple, like, Kingdom Hearts ones and whatnot that I really enjoy. Because, you know, from my favorite IPs. But, yeah, before I ever go hard into that sort of thing, I would, I would definitely want a case or, or shelf bookcase just for them. Okay, kind of hard to get around this guy with its awkward vine hitboxes. Okay, now I think we go this way. Maybe. Doesn't look like there's actually anything we can do do in here, though, other than grab this feather that I skipped. So it doesn't look like we can... Yeah. What she said. Can't get through here yet. Had to come back later. You move so much faster jumping in the water than trying to swim. It says the only ones he suggests picking up is when you don't have the space as exclusive or chases. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I do that sort of thing with video games, right? Consoles I'm not even collecting for at the moment or whatever, I'll still grab certain games for just because I'm fairly certain the value is going to go up in the future or just see a, a relatively rare one for a decent price or, or whatever the case may be. So that sort of thing definitely makes sense. Okay, I didn't expect the Nurdle to make his way over here. Ah, exploding cacti. And we're dead. <laughs> that Nurdle got some jumps on him, man. Oh, you were doing great. Aw, oh, thanks, man. I needed that encouragement from the nature spirit there. Although, it sent us all the way back here. 
shit. I mean, that's not super far, but like... Couldn't have spawned us just a little bit closer, B? Exploding cacti are definitely the most annoying thing so far. I understand now why the nature spirit lady doesn't like <laughs> Dry Rock Canyon. Just, just keep jumping, just keep jumping. Oh, there's a nest here too to destroy. There we are. Got it that time. Okay, hopefully we're coming up on the final plant here soon. I would love to collect the ninth one before... And, and I'm pretty sure the last one for this area before we had to wrap this up here. But we only got about three minutes left, so I'm not sure if it's going to happen. Um, shoot, and I'm not even sure where to go right this moment. It says you got the Maya from Borderlands GameStop exclusives. Not super price yet, but already above store price. Nice. Diamond Squirtle got it for 15 already at 50 Very nice. Very nice indeed. Magic Nuba plant three ahead. Wait, which way was that pointing? Okay, it was pointing this way. So we'll follow this around, maybe. God, stupid cacti. It's got such a big range on its explosion, too. It's not very nice. I don't care about the feathers. I just want to get out of here. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, helpful, actually. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> uh, we might make it. We might just make it in time. I can snooze the, the break by uh, five minutes if I have to. There's one hit in. Run away, run away. Nice. Oh, okay. It's doing this thing again. That's fine. At least this time there's no ice physics. That's the only thing that really <laughs> ruined it for us last time. Okay, that move there is pretty annoying too, especially since I can't get away from it. All right, let me hit the snooze button before I forget because I think we're going to need the extra time. Okay. And attack and run away. Spinning faster now. Nope. 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 Come on, you know you wanna... You know you wanna get smacked, boy. Hell yeah. Take that plant piece. Rock on! That's it, Tech. You have the plants. Let's get back to Jaboba's hut. He's gonna need these. Nice. So, Jaboba's hut. He is... Where? Around here somewhere. Can we go this way? Shortcut? Maybe. Oh, nope. Not that button. This button. The the extra long jumps from the pole vault is nice, but it makes it a little harder to, to move around and collect things, to be honest. So, are we supposed to go that way or go this way? Oh, this is back to that. Ow. Where's the exit? I do not remember. I think it was up this way and around the corner. Ooh, that's 69. Nice. I don't remember how to get out of here. I don't think it was that way. I don't think. It's probably going to end up being that way, isn't it? Oh, wait, no, 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 okay. So, I just Nubu plant two ahead. That's three, so this is the way back. Yes, pretty sure this is it. I don't know if there was a portal or something that we missed that would have gotten us out of here quicker. There probably was, but... Man, we are not doing well in the health department here. Taking a lot of stupid hits. Okay, don't fall, because if we fall... Fall. I'm not sure. Oh wait, no, that's that's Nubu Plant One now. So was it over here at this point? 
Yes, because that's the that's the one that we jumped to right in the beginning, right? That we were just curious if we could jump that far, so we did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. There's the tram. <laughs> Couldn't remember what the heck it was called. I mean, who expects a tram to exist in this area, you know? This world. Man, I think we're going to have to wait, though. I don't think we're going to make it back to the hut. Once we get over here, I think we're going to have to save and call it for attacking the power of Juju. And then uh, we'll take a short break, of course, and then we will come back with uh, Lord of the Rings. So let's go ahead and get saved up right before we get attacked by a Nurtle there. <laughs> okay. So it doesn't seem like there's any autosave or anything like that, which that's fine. Just glad that I remember to save before I before I quit here. So according to how long to beat, we should already be about two thirds or I'm sorry, one third of the way through the game, which is just crazy. Save successful. Very nice. All right. I'm going to go ahead and switch us back over now to the to the uh, to the wait screen and we are going to take a short break like I mentioned and then do some Lore of the Rings, the third age.